Okay, guys. I'm oh, trying to fix this dog old thing. I think I got it right. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, I'm just trying to get comfortable, you guys. Oh, yeah. I got my hair done. I got it done Friday. My daughter in law did it for me and stuff. I love it. I got it. Uh, I got some knotless braids and I showed it the way I want it. It's the, uh, the rubber band style and stuff. Uh, I'm going to do this reaction today and it's going to be on, <laughs> on Unk. I just got to watching her video and it was the one, the new one today. She's talking about she messed up my eyebrows. Hey, they looked it okay, but when she had that dye stuff on there, I like, God damn, dude. I mean, girl. <laughs> she looked it just like a man right there. I like, oh my goodness. I like, oh, dang it, girl. Y'all to move. God, I see why I don't be blocking her dogs up. I don't, see, I don't lock my dogs up. I don't believe in that. They don't have no dog cage or nothing. They just... They just walk around the house and they had just been, I don't know why, they just been irking my nerves. Ugh. They so spoiled. I hate I got them spoiled. Ugh. So, but in a way, yeah, she is enjoying spending this money. I I saw that you got hips a, a truck, unk. He didn't buy it himself, not off of that two jobs. No, 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 baby. He didn't get that himself. No, no, no. We know who got the truck for him and stuff. That's why y'all got three cars now. You got the near that done died. May you rest in peace. Lord bless your soul. And he got his new truck. And you got your van. I ain't bad about I ain't mad about none of that. Because this is your money. I can't tell you what to do with your money, but I'm just gonna react off of your videos, boo boo. So don't come, don't don't talk about we jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm happy you you finally can broom broom again. And why he out doing what he doing with his two jobs? He might get three jobs now, girl. Shoot, <laughs> he might get three of them suckers now. Shit, <laughs> he got him a truck. Yeah, he. And then when you finna get ready and do your little. Your little video for your hair. He just, ooh, he just all on you. That made your day. Damn. My, I just, I just saw your expression, girl. You just so happy he was grabbing those tits. It just made your day. You just had to put that in there. Like, yeah, baby, y'all. Look what y'all, you look what he doing to me. Yeah, we don't give a damn because that's your problem. Not our problem. That's not that. That's not our problem. That's your baggage right there that you got to pay every month to stay there in the house and keep him, keep him there. I ain't even pay no man to keep him around me. Uh-uh. <laughs> if he really ain't in love me, he can take his black ass on. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to pay nobody to be to be around me and to touch me and to show y'all, yeah, look what I look what I look what look what he was doing to me. Yeah, yeah, he feeling all on me. He in love with me. And then she had to get his approval. I'm um, putting that deck done this and that dog on closet. You just gotta have you some office space, baby. But I'm still tripping off this three hundred dollars and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you charge that because Chris told you to charge that. Cause you had it. I think they said so. The other rep said that one fifty, and then you changed to three hundred. But the thing of it is that I can't get my mama. You charging your mama three hundred dollars? I hope the God, this is just a lie. I hope you did not charge your mama. She paid three hundred dollars for you to teach her. I can't. I when my mama was alive, I couldn't even charge her gas money. She tried to give me gas, like uh uh. I lie and tell her the favorite thing she always fall for: save for the kids. I tell my mama, save for the children. They they'll need it one day, on something, on a field trip or something to buy. Save for them, and she and she and it always works. And she was like, okay. That's my mama. I couldn't dare charge her. I couldn't. Now, we sure food when we went out. She sometimes treated me. Then I treat her out to eat. But just taking her money, I'm grown. I was grown. I, mm -mm, it was time for me to give back to her. So you saying you giving back to your mama and your daddy. You gave them some of your money. That's good. 
you supposed to because well i don't know if your daddy raised have raised you or not but your mama you supposed to get back to your mama not just that laptop not just that little laptop and stuff you supposed to always give back not just an income tax time you supposed to always give back to your mama when she needs something you supposed to break your deck done neck and help her you supposed to break your neck all of us was in well my other sister uh, brother they was in competition with my mom trying to see who can give her the best gifts me i was not because i was her favorite <laughs> in her eyes i was her favorite but i didn't i don't like favoritism and stuff but that's what they they said i was her favorite because yeah because i love to do things with my mom i love to go i love doing girl things with her me and her became best friends when i grew up but she always gonna be my mama but we became best friends she came my BFF when I when I became grown and stuff. As long as I was a child, I was she was my mama. But we became best friends. We was go shopping. That's what I would like for you to do, Unc. You and your mama go shop. Do girls' day. You, your mama, and the girls go do girls' day. Let hips work with the boys. He stayed at the house and do boy things with the boys. You go do girl things with you, your mama, and your girls. Go get your nails done, your feet done. Y'all go out to eat. Go just just have fun. Just take your mama out and do something fun with her. I miss those days with my mama. I miss them. I, I, oh, Lord. I wish I could get those days back because I, but I still, I still got them up there. I still got them up there. That's why I say I still got them up there. I can remember I. I love talking to my mama. My journal, I talk to my mama in my journal. But like I say, you get me off the track now. But like I said, I just can't believe you charge your mama three hundred dollars, little mama, for your editing class. And you, you good in editing. I, I say that you good with things like that. You good at it. You ain't the bomb bomb, but you leave a lot of shit in it and stuff that don't need to be in it. You don't edit a lot of stuff out because you you put it in there so we can talk about the crap. And what else you did? And you took the boys, I mean, not the boys, uh, Aiden and uh, Ava uh, shopping to find it because you're getting on some new beds. Thank you. Thank you. You need to work on the girls, too. They need new stuff for their bedrooms and stuff. And I'm so glad you're getting rid of those ugly little toddler things, them little toy things, them little toy beds. I'm not going to call them a bed because they toy beds. Them little things. <laughs> then I saw that you got the nerve to try to sell them, them things. Somebody, one of your subbies gave that to you. Your, one of your subbies gave that to you. And you got the nerve to try to sell them thing $30 a piece. <laughs> them nasty, regular things, girl. You better go put that crap on the, on the curb out there. Put that crap out there on that doggone curb, little mama. Because nobody... Well, one of your subs might, one of your dinky subs might come buy it from you. Yeah, they might buy it from you and stuff. And I love these guys. This lady had told me about them. And I went and bought me a lot of them. But, uh, yeah. And you took the kids to Walmart. And you said they can pick out whatever comforter set that they want. But you kept on trying to persuade. Yeah, I think I said it right. Persuade. Okay, persuade Aiden to get something else. If he wants Paw Patrol, if that's what he wants, let that doggone boy get that doggone Paw Patrol. Okay, thank you. You just kept on trying to make that baby change his mind. You said they can pick whatever they want to. Not what you want to. Whatever they want to. Ava, she went and got Elster. I think I said that right. She went and got the Frozen and stuff. Girl, you had me crying laughing. Now, you needed, you were trying to reach up there and get them sheets and stuff. Because you know that little comforter set, the only thing you come with is the sham and the comforter. And that's it. That's all it come with. You got to buy sheet sets with that. Your butt was jumped up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I told her she got to tiptoe and then jump up there and grab it. 
Now, if you play basketball, you should know how to slam dunk and knock it, knock it out the way. You didn't play basketball, so you should know how to do that crap there. Me, I stub my tiptoes and get stuff like that. I stub my tiptoes and I get something that's long and I just swipe it down. <laughs> this one stuff like this, that high? Because I'm short. I'm 4'8". I don't know how tall you are, but you tall, little mama. You, that should have been easy for you. But you tripped me out. You jumped up there. <laughs> now, you need to do a lot more of them. You need to do a lot more of them. They should come a workout for you. But I still ain't got my workout video. I still ain't got that. Dang, and I haven't seen the hula hoop. And you throw the hula hoop away, little mama? I have not seen that doggone hula hoop, y'all. Dang. And who in the hell jacket was that she had on that two little bitty jacket? Was that the kid's jacket? <laughs> who was the jacket that she had on? <laughs> Lord Jesus, girl. If that's Chris, he need to go give it away too because it's too little for him and it was too little for you. That little, that little tight thing. You are not back in college. You are not back in school no more. I hope to God that's not your old jacket that you used to wear in school. <laughs> Ooh, so why you was at Walmart, you should have got you another conference set, a bed and bag. That's what you need. Not a conference set, you need a bed and bag. Hips, I mean, unk. Go back to Walmart or go somewhere else and get you a bed and bag. And yes, listen to your subs. Get you a Costco or a Sam's membership card. Because you need one so you can go there and get big bundles of food. So you can stop spending a lot of money at H-E-B or Walmart. Because they drain you dry. You, you got a big family. Then she's going to talk about you guys. She finally supposed to begin a deep freeze, but she said, babe... Oh, I'm so damn sick of that damn name. God, y'all come up with another name about what y'all means. Give it boo, or give them a real name, or give boyfriend, or my lover, or something. I'm so sick of that damn weird babe. God damn. Y'all wear that damn name out. Babe this, babe that, babe, babe, babe. <laughs> then she need to get some new music. I can say the one sub, her favorite subs. Tell your, tell your doggone loyalty woman friend to change her music y'all tell her everything else tell her to get her some new music change up get some new songs i'm tired of some i'm tired of them at least she didn't do uh leaving to love or whatever the name of the damn song is one of my subs and i already told her one thing name of it but i'm so glad she didn't play that one did she play it i probably i told, i think i probably spaced that when she played that song but girl, yes, and then you guys, she went and bought her some deck done pots and pans. Hallelujah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. You doing something? You doing something right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. She went and bought her some doggone pots and pans. She said she she might throw some the old way. Yes, please do, please do. Get rid of them. Get rid of them and get you some more. Cause I'm buying my eyes little by little and stuff. Uh, I'm changing up all my plateware and stuff in there because I'm, I'm getting me some more stuff and I'm, I've am i been dumping a lot of stuff away and my son asked me the other day mom why you do that because I want to we've been having this stuff too down on long it's time for a change up and stuff it's time for something different and yep and so but she really didn't do too much and <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> that was my daughter-in-law. <laughs> I gave her that phone ringtone. I call her back in a minute. She gonna, she gonna be like, Mom, why you hang up in my face? I didn't hang up. I'm on, I'm on my camera. But no, I ain't gonna have too much to talk about with her today because she's on a roll, you guys. She's not tired. She's just feeling the the glamorous life right now. She's she's got it going on. She's the princess. She's the queen bee. So we, I'm a, I'm just, I'm, I'm proud of her. She's spending long, as long as she's spending money the right way. Don't spend it all on hips. Don't. You doing you so far? You, you on a good road right now. Keep spending, buy stuff for the house, buy stuff for the baby, buy stuff for your kids. 
And buy stuff for you. Take yourself on a shopping spree. Buy yourself some clothes, okay? While you got that money, pay your bills up first. I don't know if you didn't pay your bills up or call, call them up and stuff, but you should have did that first before you got that car, the van, and tri the hips of car, truck. You should have paid your bills up first. Now, would some folks do that? I know I do. I know I pay my bill first. If I don't, I won't feel right. Best when I come in a good lot of money and stuff, bills first, baby. Luxury later. But... I'm not going to stay over here too long. I just had to come over here and mess with unks and stuff. I will talk to you guys later. So don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.